five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is The Ramble, I'm Alex Bennett. I know I didn't say I was going to be here tonight, but here I am, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh, uh, um, and let me just make sure something's happening here and that everything's working good and that we're recording... Yeah, I had problems here starting to show off tonight. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I uh, Here I am, and uh, uh, I know I wasn't supposed to be on tonight uh, because I was going to have surgery today, and uh, here I am. So apparently I didn't have surgery, right? Either that or I really recovered well fast, you know. Mm. I mean, they said I'd be better the next day, and here I am better right now. Jeez, it was amazing. What a really, oh, man, I'm telling you, this thing is like uh, freezing up on me. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, just, um, come on, free up the memory and all of that. I, it's having all kinds of problems tonight. I may not even sign on. I mean, I'm sorry I even tried tonight. This is amazing. Uh, but anyway, well, just wait a second while this thing clears itself up. Um, where do I start with this whole thing? Oh, well, I was supposed to have uh, surgery today, uh, and it was supposed to be... Um, uh, 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 they were going to take... Uh, they were going to put some seeds in me, okay? Um you know, so I mean, that was uh, that was the main thing they were going to do, is put seeds in me. Um, I'm trying to clear things up here just a little bit, folks. Excuse me while I fix a couple of things. Jeez, oh, I should have never even gone on tonight because it wasn't it was wasn't planned to go on tonight. Okay, there we are. Now we're going to be okay. All right, we're fine. All right. Let me start from the beginning. I was supposed to have an operation today. What it was is I had all this radiation back a couple of weeks ago, and then that's supposed to be followed up with them implanting radioactive seeds in my prostate. Now, it's no big deal. It's a simple operation. It takes about 45 minutes um, by a very experienced doctor. Uh, and... Uh, it, 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 you know, but the, the difficult part is, is that I'm a person who, who worries, you know, and I worry about something. And when you know that you're going to be put under, and while you're under, they're going to be doing something to you. Uh, and in this case, what they do is they take radioactive seeds about the size of, each one about the size of a grain of rice, and they insert them in your prostate thereby giving it a lethal dose for like two months. This thing just keeps starting over and over and over again. I don't understand. Anyway, um, excuse me, folks, if I'm a little uh, out of it because I, I got up really early today. I'll, I have to explain this whole thing to you. Let me try and, and do this without really going crazy on it, Okay. So uh, they implant these seeds in you, and then the radiation keeps going for about two months until the radiation dies, and it supposedly is very effective at killing prostate cancer. Now, the radiation that I had, in addition to this, the two of them together make up a very lethal dose against the prostate cancer, all right? So I had already had all the radiation that I went through, and that was pretty good. You know, it went, it, it, the only thing is, what it's left me with, I didn't realize, but it, and it can do it two weeks later. My doctor told me this. I started feeling, I've started feeling um, uh, lack of energy, fatigue. Uh, they said you'd have mild fatigue. I'd say this is, this is fatigue, okay? Uh, not of the worst kind, but it's fatigue nonetheless. And um, 
so I've been feeling a lot of fatigue lately, um, and, and part of that is why I'm so out of it tonight. Anyway, that's all that radiation did. But then in combination with that radiation, the radioactive seeds provide a rather lethal combination and have about a 92% cure rate, okay? That means it's gone. It'll never come back, okay? Uh, but if it does come back, it might come back in 5 to 15 years. Okay, so there, there we go. There's the prostate cancer in a nutshell. So today, I'm supposed to go in to have these seeds implanted. Now, what that entails is you go into this operating room, and they put you out, and then they, through the use of needles, uh, would you, would you kind of like, you could probably turn elsewhere right now if you're quite squeamish. They take the needles and they go into your perineum, which is that area between the penis and the ass. I think we used to call it the taint. Yeah, taint, dick, taint, ass. Okay, and um, they then go into the prostate through that, and then they insert these little kernels of, of rice, essentially uh, lethal rice. Um, uh, iodine, what is it called? There's it a name for the uh, kind of, uh, of radiation it is. And so you walk around with it radioactive for about two months, and you can't uh, hold little babies on your lap or get within six feet of a pregnant woman. Really, it's true. And if I want to go on a plane somewhere, I have to get a card from my doctor saying I'm radioactive. <laughs> okay. So anyway... Um, that's the backstory on this, okay? So today I'm supposed to go in to have that big procedure. Now this is a little more of a procedure than with the radiation. The radiation is so benign that you're just lying there while this thing whirls around and whirls around and makes a little bit of noise, hardly any noise at all. And then uh, they zap you and you come back for five days in a row, or not five days in a row, every other day for five days. And you're, uh, you're good to go, okay, for that. So this was the next big thing, and this was the one, I guess, that worried me the most. Excuse me, I've got a, oh, my nose is itching. Um, I, uh, so I, uh, I was supposed to go in for this thing today, all right? And you know me, I, you know, I do, I've taken this pretty good. I think I've done pretty good about this. But this part of it kind of made me a little queasy because it is a little more of surgery than I had before, okay? So anyway, getting back to our little story here. So I have it scheduled for today. Uh, I don't know what time. I don't find out till yesterday, and yesterday I'm told it's at 6.45 in the evening. Please get there by 4.45 so you can be processed, okay? Uh, before then, the night before, take a fleet enema. And the day, uh, the next morning, take another fleet enema. And I said, yeah, but really I can take it at like two o'clock, right? Because, you know, if I, why take it in the morning if I'm, you know, going to be having this in the afternoon at 645 at night? So they said, yeah, right. Okay. So anyway, that's the prep for the whole thing. Now, you know, it's not bad prep. But quite frankly, I had to do a enema every time I went in for anything regarding radiation. And uh, when I was doing the radiation, the uh, uh, five treatments of radiation and the simulation, I had to do a fleet enema in the morning before I went in. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty used to doing the fleet enemas, but it's not something I really like doing. I don't know if you've ever seen fleet enemas. They're the size of a small ketchup bottle, and you just shove it up your butt and squirt water in there, and then in a couple of minutes, everything in the world comes out and stuff you ate like five years ago. So you have to go through that prep, all right? Uh, it's, it, it's not a, a really bad prep. I don't know if you ever had a colonoscopy. That prep is much worse, okay? So anyway, where do I, where do I, where do I leave off here? Okay. So then girlfriend comes home and says, I'll go with you to the hospital, and then I will wait until you go to, into, into surgery, and then I'll go out and have something to eat, and then I'll come back, and I'll pick you up. 
okay, because somebody has to pick you up. So uh, I've done the prep, okay. Uh, girlfriend is going to go with me, which is, of course, she could have a nice night just sitting at home, not having to go to wait for me while I get out of surgery. So thank you very much, Marjorie, for doing, for doing that. And she hasn't been well lately because her leg has been really bothering her. And um, I go in. I, we take a cab over there. Um, the lift was a little more than usual because, I don't know, it was a surge price or something. But I, it was just comfortable enough. I just wanted to get there. So we go up and we go to the intake part. So I go in. They have me sign something. They have me fill out something. It's a form. This is a great form. It was a form about, um, have you been anywhere outside the United States in the last six weeks? Uh, have you known anybody else? And do you, or do you live with someone who has been out of the country for the la in the last six weeks? Yeah. Uh, have you, and then there are uh, three other questions. And it says, if you answered one and two, or any of the others is yes, then go see one of our people because we have to talk to you. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, if you said no to one, if you said yes to one or two, or any of the other questions, shouldn't the note, the note on the bottom of the page read, if you answered a yes to any of the above questions? But no, it says if you've been at one or two and any of the other questions. You gotta know that you're dealing with a fucked up hospital that makes that kind of simple mistake when they're trying to find out if you've been anywhere where there's the coronavirus, okay? But they were, they were afraid to put coronavirus on this page, all right? So anyway, I, I fill that out. Then I get a call, and I get a call from a, 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 a call. Man, I, they don't call me. This, the, you, they have my phone number, but they can call me if they want to. But the guy comes out and goes, Bennett Schwarzman? I go, yeah. He says, come on in. I got to get you through this. And this is all the stuff you have to sign to say that you understand that you're responsible and the insurance company is responsible, but they'll help you get it, just a whole bunch of little paperwork that you got to get done. He says, I'm rushing this because they want to get you uh, 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 up there as fast as possible. And I'm going... Well, that's cool. I didn't expect that. I expect I was going to sit around and wait and, and all of that. So then I go into this other room, and they immediately say, Oh, Mr. Schwarzman, please come with us quickly. And uh, they lead me into another room with, with Marjorie. And uh, they say, Well, you take off your clothes and put on the thing. And I, put, I take off my clothes, and I put them in a bag, okay, which they then tape up, and they're going to keep that so that, you know, nothing gets stolen. And uh, they say to me, um, um, uh, they ask me all the normal questions. Uh, what time did you eat today? What time did you eat? Bad, 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 water, baby, 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 so coffee, no, bad, on and on and on. And uh, then uh, let me take your blood pressure. Let me check your weight. Mm, okay, fine, good. All right. Now we've got all these things going for us, right? This is pretty cool. This is, this is working out. Uh, and it's moving along really fast, all right? So then the woman says, okay, we're all, all fine with this. Oh, here, will you sign this? Because we're taking the bag, going to take the bag away with all your stuff in it in a couple of minutes. We want to make sure that you're acknowledging that we have your bag and so on. Okay, I have signed that. So far, so good. You know, this thing's moving along really fast. I'm figuring... You know, 6.45, maybe I'll get the, uh, the the operation by like 6 or something like that. You know, I'll be out, out of the uh, operating room by 6.45, and then I can take about an hour to recover in recovery, and then I get the hell out of there, and I get back home, and I just rest for the evening. I wasn't going to do a show tonight or anything. We hadn't planned on it. And um, so I, I went, okay, fine. You know, that's cool. Um, and so now I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And nothing is happening. And Marjorie says, let me go out and see if I can find somebody and find out what's happening. Because I'm figuring, hey, they're going to come get me. They're going to swoop me up there. They're going to put the juice in my arm. I'm going to be out like a light. Next thing I know, I'll be awake. I'll be in, the, in recovery. 
And there will be the charming, sweet face of the woman I love. Okay? She can't find anybody. There's nobody out at the... De I'm figuring everybody in the hospital probably left. There was probably an Ebola scare or something. I don't know. Finally, somebody is there, and she goes, what's happening? And they go, well, wait a minute. Let's get somebody who can go find out. And they got the head nurse, okay? And she calls up to OR, operating rooms, and says, uh, what's happening? And uh, the woman up there says, oh, uh, Mr. Schwarzman, uh, his procedure has been canceled for the day. What? Now, I got to show you something. See this? I mean, this officially means I was admitted to the hospital, okay? That's my, you're an official member of the hospital uh, uh, thing, right? There, right there. You want to see it closer? Okay, there it is. There it is. Bennett Schwarzman. You see that, folks? I think you can see that. Anyway. Uh, what? I'm not, it's not going to happen today? I said, call up again. This is got, that's got to be a mistake. And they, she calls another person up there and says, yeah, it's been canceled. Uh, the doctor is doing a procedure right now. He will be right down as soon as that is over to talk to Mr. Schwarzman. Okay. Hmm. We'll see what happens here. So I get dressed. I'm figuring we're going to have to wait forever for the doctor, but eventually doctor, the doctor comes down. And he's, he's, a, he's a nice enough guy, you know? I mean, not, not Mr. Personality, but he's very efficient and, and tells you what's going on and so on. And uh, he says, yeah, I, we can't do the operation today. We've had to cancel you plus two other people today. And I said, why? And he said, well, I hate to admit this, but we ran out of equipment. I said, what? He said, okay, let me explain it. He said, when we do the seed thing, there is a little bracket, kind of a thing, that goes on your perineum. I guess it's a little fitting. It goes on your perineum, and then they stick the needles through the fitting. He said, they were all out of those. And I had to send you plus two other people home. And one of them came all the way from Pennsylvania to be here. And I went, oh, my God. You know, I've, I'm, I'm beginning to feel less bad about my own plight, okay? And I'm yelling and screaming about this. I mean, just, what the hell's happening? He says, I can't apologize enough. He said, I know you have one other problem where you came to do something and nobody told you, and that was a problem. He said, but this I have no control over. He said, this is the hospital. He said, and uh, t tomorrow I am going to look into this and find out who the hell screwed up on this. Because, you know, he said, when I do this operation, I have to have this part, okay? And they all have to be original, and the needles all have to be the needles for, uh, for this, so that they don't get infected and things like that. He said, if we don't have this little gasket or whatever it is that we put on your perineum, we can't do the, we can't do the procedure. Um, and I went, wow. And he was really disturbed about it. He said, this is happening a lot lately. He said, this hospital is starting to have a lot of problems. And he said, you know, someone's responsible for this, and I'm going to get to the bottom of who it is because those Items should have been there, and they weren't, and there weren't any in the hospital. So uh, he was he was as irate as I was over this whole thing. So I go, well, I guess we're not going to do it today. He says, no, maybe we can do it tomorrow. Maybe we can do it Friday. He figured we could do it Friday probably, you know, because he was looking for an outside date so that they could get the stuff they needed. He said, but it's terrible. He said, and I humbly apologize. and nothing I could do about it, completely out of my control. And as he says, I, I had to cancel two other procedures today, like yours, uh, because we didn't, uh, you know. And he started, he started about 4 o'clock, probably, uh, 
with some of this stuff. So I, I was there about 445. So he, he, he couldn't have known, you know, yet that he wasn't going to get this stuff and so on. It was just, it was terrible. And it's a clusterfuck. And I'll tell you, the name of the hospital is Mount Sinai here in New York. Now, I have always respected Mount Sinai, I guess because I'm a Jew, okay? And so, therefore, I looked at it as kind of a, a very special hospital. Well, I'm beginning to think they aren't such a special hospital, uh, not only because of this, but because I've just seen a hospital that's gotten grimier and a little too used up, uh, and uh, Marjorie says she has several doctors there who have all been complaining about the operation of the hospital as well, saying that it's not as well run as it should be. And I find this to be egregious because, okay, I have prostate cancer, and you can take that for what you want to. Most people just go, I know I have a friend who had that. that he's okay now, right? Nobody really gets panicky over prostate cancer. But nevertheless, if allowed to go or keep going, uh, I could be in a lot of trouble. And the radiation I had would not take care of it alone, okay? So that's, that's what that's all about. Uh, you have a hospital in which everybody who is there is there because it's a matter of life or death, even if it's something like a cold, okay? It could turn into something worse. And so you don't want to have a hospital which is so incompetent that they can't supply the main things that a doctor needs in order to operate. Now, mind you, this doctor is one of the finest uh, radio oncologists in the business. He's the guy who worked on Rudy Giuliani. Okay, enough said. Uh, that was 20 years ago. I asked him, how many of these procedures have you done? Well, he, actually, he volunteered it because I was saying, so is this, is this operation dangerous at all? He says, nah. He said, I've done 4,000 of these things. 4,000. He said, and I think we only had in that whole time one infection. That's not bad. He said, that's the worst that's ever happened. And that was taken care of, you know, very easily. He said, otherwise, I have no problems. He says, the only thing that gives me problems is something like this, and I've never had this happen before. But this hospital just keeps getting worse and worse, and I don't know what we're going to do about it. And I'm thinking, this is the same Mount Sinai that sends me uh, letters, uh, emails, uh, constantly begging me for money. Oh, we need help. We need to be going to make a better hospital and so on. I mean, the next time they send those out, I'm going to tell them to go screw themselves because, and I'm going to tell them why. This is, you know, for, for life and death situations, this is not good. And um, I, I'm really beginning to think after this event, because I take it now personally, of course, because it, it was a personal problem to me, that... Um, I really need to be, uh, they really need to be taken to task. They need to get their crap together. Because if they don't get it together, people are going to die. Who knows how many people have died already because of their incompetence? I mean, this is incompetence at, at, at the high, of the highest order. And now look at what happens to me. I'm all jazzed up for this thing. I'm all prepared for it, Okay. I know it's not going to be pleasant. I'm preparing myself for every inch of the way. When the last time when they put the uh, the propofol in my in my hand, it went caught. On, it literally felt like it was on fire. I mean, it was an anguish, painful anguish. I was afraid of going through that again. I was afraid of the waking up and maybe finding out I had a, a, a catheter in my penis. Um, I asked my doctor about that. He said, no, we only have a catheter in you while you're in the operating room. We take it out before you leave. I said, okay, good. Uh, whether I'd be able to even pee before I left. You know, they don't let you leave the hospital till you pee. And last time, I was having a little bit of trouble. So anyway, I've been thinking about all these things, and I'm worried about all these things. I just want to get this thing over with. Plus, you know, the whole thing, procedure you go through to get in there to do the operation takes forever. 
I mean, you know, they got, you see the guy, and then you go in, and the nurse asks you all these questions, and they, uh, they uh, weigh you, and they get your blood pressure, and and then you got to be taken up there, and then you wait, and there's a lot of waiting, and, you know, I don't want to go through that again. But I'm going to have to if I want to get this operation. Um, I don't know what to say. I, I mean, I feel, uh, at first I was blaming the doctor because I went, here we go again, another one of these things, because the last time it was his, his, his office's fault. And I went, oh, God, you know, I don't know. I don't know about this guy. And then when he told me the story, I felt absolutely sorry for him. Because he's ready, he's jazzed, he's going to go do this. He's done 4,000 of them. He's probably bored as hell of doing them. He could probably do them with his eyes closed, okay? But, you know, he wants to get them done too, and he wants to go in and do the best possible job he can because he's a very competent, competent physician and surgeon. And um, that's it. I mean, to talk about cluster you-know-what's, if I say that word, we won't be able to be monetized tonight, although I doubt if we'll be able to be monetized anyway, because we said words like penis and, and, uh, and uh, perineum. Um, so anyway, um, I just, you know, I just, I, just, I just think that if this hospital, which is, to me, one of the premier hospitals in America, has come to this, where they're, they're, they're this incompetent, that they're not supplying their doctors with the very tools they need to do operations, and they're having to send three people home in a single day because that doctor wasn't given the supplies he needed to do his craft. I think that's pretty pathetic. Um, after this is over, I'm going to write a letter to, uh, to um, uh, Mount Sinai, and I'm going to complain about this and say, you know, this was, this was an egregious fault. Uh, because what bothered me most of all was that it, it bothered me from the standpoint that I was, you know, something doesn't go on the low. There we go. There goes the small one, and I go up to the faster one. There we go. Okay, I'm turning on the fan. It's a little toasty in here. Um, and I'm just going to tell them, you know, this is egregious. Uh, you can't, you can't do this to people. This is not right. Okay. It's completely wrong. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a show tonight. I figured I better do a show tonight because somewhere this week I'm not going to be able to do a show, but I don't know when. I'll find out probably tomorrow. And so I may as well try and uh, and do a show tonight. If I start getting too tired, uh, I will close it off early. Okay, is that a deal? Who knows if anybody's going to call? I put it up that we were doing a show. I sent a thing out to a lot of our people who, who participate in this program. What? I don't want that. No, that's not what I want. I want, uh, th no, I don't want that. I want this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See, I pushed the wrong stuff. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm, I, ad, I do have um, this, um, Mild uh, fatigue. Or is it, it isn't really mild. It's 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 pretty pretty goofy, actually. To be honest with you. Well, come on. I, I, I yeah. Bring me, Skype. Will you please start? Nothing working for me tonight. Come on, Skype. Come on. Ta -da 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 -da. We're waiting for Skype to start, and uh, there we should be going up now. Yes, we're up. I am, we're running. Boy, it takes Skype forever to start. This is really strange. I don't understand it. Okay, turn myself on as being active, and you can start calling if you want to. Um, uh, let me see here. Um, and if nobody calls, I can go to sleep early. But I'm, I'm, you know, I was almost not going to do a show tonight, and then I decided to, because then I, well, then I could do a show tomorrow night, and then, tell you the whole story, but then I would have felt I would have been kind of letting you down. I'd rather come on the air and tell this story, but hmm, who knows, okay, all right? 
Uh, so I'm waiting for somebody to call, and I guess nobody's going to call. Hmm? Is that it? Is that the whole show for tonight? <laughs> I know I told you that I wasn't going to be here tonight, so, you know. Um, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I'll give it another couple of minutes here. Um, so, uh, you know, probably I figured the operation is going to be Friday now. So probably we won't be on Friday night, but we're here tonight and I decided to come here tonight to appear before you just because I would, uh, one day this week I would have to get off. And, um, okay, well, I'm going to give it another half, half a minute here. Um, I'll have to restart computer. Skype is dead, says Phil Meyer. No. Well then, oh, of course you're sending it to me through your iPhone. Well, Phil's trying to call. Um, that's nice of him, but he's waiting for his computer to start. Oh, here we go. Here's Bree. Bree is calling us from Malaysia. Uh, let me see here. Let me go here. Um, yeah, there you go. There he is. Hello, Bree. How are you? Bree, can you hear me? Doing good. How are you, Alex? Oh, okay. You're gonna blur the yeah. back. You're gonna blur the can background, huh? Yeah, yeah. I can hear. Yeah, blur the background. I, I prefer that. And I never know when somebody's gonna rush in. Yeah. Uh, I do have a couple people who want to see me, but I, they haven't done what they're supposed to. What happened to him? Just, oh, yeah. just just get done what you got to do. Yeah. That's my motto. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're efficient, damn it. <laughs> well, I'd like to think so, but, uh, you know, probably not as efficient as I need to be. But I, I had um, a neighbor's dog was barking all night, one, two, and four, so I'm a little groggy this morning. Yeah. And uh, But I did write to them. And, Gee, you, you, like, you, 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 you keep freezing up. You some. probably don't have many neighbor issues there, do you, Alex? I mean, do you hear the people up, up above you? No, or? I don't have anybody up above me. But you're, you're, you're sometimes you're, you're you're breaking up every now and then. You're freezing. I don't know why. Ah, okay, let me. Uh, that's strange. It well, the Wi-Fi is not the greatest here. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, but, uh, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah. So anyway, so um, 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 no, I don't have trouble with neighbors. Uh, they're very quiet here. The only thing I have is some neighbors over on this side, and they have a kid, and every now and then I hear them yelling, screaming a little bit. But outside of that, it's not, it's not a problem. That's the guy with the strat Stradivariuses anyway. So I'll give him, I'll I'll give him some permission <laughs> to have his kid make noise or to make noise themselves. As a matter of fact, so well, you yeah. are very lucky. They're very lucky. It, uh, yeah. You know, when you move internationally and, you know, we found a place we really loved and, I don't know, just in the last two two new neighbors have moved in and just a little difficult. So. What, is it party time all the time or something? No, the, it's, uh, well, the one next to us has a special needs child. We believe he's autistic. Mm -hmm. And so he, he just screams randomly all the time. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> At first, the first few days, I was very concerned. I was like, "Are they beating their kid over there?" <laughs> I had to, I had to actually call the security people. But uh, yeah, turns out it's just autistic, and uh, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, it's no. just no. And you, and you, you'd be kind of an asshole if you made a bad thing about yeah. an autistic child. So, you know, you yeah. don't. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But, so, so it's about. But we're looking around. We're looking around, and. Uh, you know, it's the last thing I want to do is move again. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're, we're looking, we're looking and we'll see if there's something that comes up. Yeah. Do you like Malaysia? Yeah, I do like Malaysia. Uh, mm -hmm. We we currently don't have a leader. Uh, well, they have a leader, mm -hmm. but they don't have an official leader. Yeah. Long story. Did you hear that? No. Uh, yeah. The prime minister resigned over the weekend. Why? That is a long story, but uh, it's he he used to be the prime minister, I think in the 1980s. I don't know Malaysian politics 100%, mm -hmm. but he, he came back 
as part of a coalition government because the government immediately preceding him was highly cor well they say highly corrupt mm -hmm. and that court case is going on now yeah hmm? see he's got people who he has to deal with every now and then and since we don't have any anybody else calling tonight yeah, you know. sorry about that Alex. that's okay that's okay the person has got. If I had other it. people here, I could talk to them while you were doing that. But being yeah, that know. you're the only guy here, you know. Uh, yeah, this is uh, I have one of our. Uh, well, the person has done what they're supposed to do, so we'll see. I have to read this, but it's not signed. Yeah, and you're breaking up, and he's breaking up. And mm -hmm. everything. Um, yeah. So I, I, I was. He came in. You, you didn't know about. You didn't hear about the corruption? No. Mm -mm. Mm. There was a lot. There was, there was a lot of corruption. In fact, it was tied to the. I think there was some some U.S. involved. I think, you know, somebody that maybe I don't want to say anything because I can't remember exactly. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so resigned. Yeah. He, he had to go to the king, in mm -hmm. order to resign. And the king said, "Okay, I'll accept your resignation, but you have to be the PM in the interim." So he's now interim prime minister. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's strange. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I like Malaysia. The, it... the food is very inexpensive. Yeah. Um, the rent is reasonable. Um, you know, uh, you can, I mean, you could travel around relatively easily, although now with the COVID-19, uh, it's a little more difficult. Um I'm supposed to go down to Singapore this weekend. What is called? But I'm not sure. Yeah. Wait a minute. What did Phil write here? Um, I rebooted Skype. is not working. I keep trying. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know, this might be you and I for the next 10 minutes before I sign this whole thing off. I probably shouldn't have gone on tonight. Jeez. You know. I wonder what's going on. I mean, the, the Democratic debate just finished up. Mm-hmm. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's a lazy, you know, February, Wednesday. What is, oh, it's Tuesday for you. Yeah. 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 Tuesday night. I think a lot of people also, I think you sort of said you might, you may not have been on. And then, you know, obviously you explained that in the beginning there, but maybe some people just sort of wrote it off in their mind. Yeah. Well, I, well, I got a hold of a lot of our people and told them I was going to be here tonight. So, you know. Uh, okay. And um, um, what else did I do? I, I also put it up on my Facebook page, you know, as soon as I knew. Um, but I figured I'd come on tonight, you know, show must go on kind of uh, philosophy. And, yeah. um, you know, I don't know why I didn't just take the night off like I said. You know, I mean, uh, it was, it's ridiculous. But uh, that would have meant that I would be taking off at least one other day this week to go get the operation. And quite frankly, I think that after I get it, I may just take a couple of, like, take a week off and just say to hell with it, you know, because it doesn't seem to be the interest, you know, uh, that we should be getting. I mean, it's just you and I, just you and I, you know. Yep. Just you and all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I can't explain it, but sometimes these things happen. And, uh, you know, I, I think the uh, Democratic debate probably took a lot out of people. Um, I, I watched a good portion of it. I thought it was the worst one that was ever conducted. Uh, you know what? You know, they get worse and worse. And the one I saw tonight was, as you say, the worst one. It was the worst one on this level. They've all gotten to be petty. Yeah. You know? I agree with you. Uh, I cannot stand Elizabeth Warren. I, yes, I think everybody can see it. She's getting worse and worse. Okay. <laughs> um, 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 yeah. Bernie Sanders tonight was just downright annoying. You know, he keeps harping away at the same yeah. message over and over and over same. again. You know what he is? He's like an old man who keeps telling the same story over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Medicare no, for all. We're right. going to have Medicare for all. Wow. You know. Um, 
The, the, and, 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 you know, with the people with the money and the millionaires, the billionaires, we're going to take them to the woodshed, uh, you know, um, and on the... <laughs> and what was Tom Steyer doing there? Was, you know? uh, yeah, well... Uh, he just, I guess he <laughs> I figures that he, uh, he deserves that. Let's, uh, let's yeah. get Kevin in here. He just called. Hey, Kevin. Let me see here. Hog Rider. There he is. There he goes. Boom, boom. And, what, and then? I don't know about you, but Joe oh, Biden, right. oh my gosh, he's just so shrill. He's, just, he's becoming like Elizabeth Warren. He just yells into the microphone and he's got something. I think he's got, you know, dental replacements or whatever. Yeah. And it's kind of like Rush Limbaugh as well. I've noticed... When people get, there's someone else who has it too. I think Kelly Clarkson. I mean, you know that when people get it, they have trouble speaking, like because it's not their natural teeth. It's like artificial. So Joe Biden, Thomas, let me tell you, the deal is this. Look here, listen. Yeah. You know, I'm like God. Okay, okay. Joe, yeah, he does you know, have, I, I, and he has phony looking choppers too. Yeah, they're com they're, they're like Clorox white. Yeah. I mean, they're whiter than his hair. <laughs> Hello there, Kevin. How are you? Hey, Alex. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? How should I feel? Uh, I don't know. Didn't you have your uh, cut today? Didn't you hear? I no, get I did there. Not hear. I I've get been, there. I've they put me. They put today. me in the gown. Everything. You know. I even got the look. The look you know that. Oh, okay. they didn't pull a wanky on you and kick you out again, did they? Uh, yep. Oh, Jesus. And that yeah, was be, uh, let me let me explain it again just for people who weren't around <laughs> at the time. Uh, I'm just going to do the short part, and that was the doctor had to cancel three operations today because the hospital didn't have the part he needs to do the seed implant. Now, what kind of a hospital? He says he he was just livid. He said, you know. He said, I had to send a guy back who came all the way from Pennsylvania to be oh. to get the procedure today. You see, oh. this is social, socialism. No, yeah, no, this is yeah, capitalism. Is. This is capitalism. <laughs> you know, I mean. Yeah, but this is the future you're looking at. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, and as I said, you know, we're talking here life and death situations for people, Right. In, in my case, it's not life or death, but let this keep going without doing the seeds, and it'll be death. Okay? Yeah. What if what if a guy ordered a heart and it didn't show up? Or they didn't order it? Yeah, it wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't in the parts house. Well, how do you how do you not have a part that's needed? Or if you don't have that part, you call the doctor immediately, say they're not going to be in today. You better get a hold of your people and tell them not to come ahead. Yeah, I would think. But I, it wasn't that I just was went there and they said, go home. I went there. They gave me the wristband. They had me sign all the papers. They made me get into the paper gown. Uh, they made me, they weighed me. They gave me the blood pressure, asked about all my medicine. When did I eat last? They did the whole intake. And then they say, you got oh. everything but the good drugs. But then they said, called upstairs and they said, oh, we can't take him today. Yeah, so they didn't even get you high. No, no. <laughs> yeah, at least at least do something, you know. But, but I mean, it really, it really pissed me off. And the doctor came down. He was terribly apologetic. He says, "I'm going to get to the bottom of this tomorrow because this is getting." That's he said, "This crazy. this is happening a lot in this hospital lately." He said, to, uh, "Not me, but other people." He said, yeah. "And to have a hospital not have the very things I need to do a specific operation." When I, they know I'm going to be doing it, and nobody ordered it, you know, I think they have to order the radioactive pellets. Is what they have to do. Yeah, I'm sure because they don't want them sitting around either. No, they don't when want they them bring them in. They exactly. use them and get a, get you out of there. Exactly. But the thing that they didn't order weren't the pellets. They had plenty of those on hand. You know, uh, it was a thing they put on your perineum and then they stick the needles through it. It's kind of a guide. All right. So that the the seeds are are delivered accurately, uh, and uh, it, it, it's a small piece. It's just a small little thing, you know. It's not, you know, they, they ran out of them. So uh, you know, it wasn't like they ran out of the seeds or things like don't that. Don't matter. You needed it. Yeah, you needed it. No matter it. what size it is. And you know, I'm now I'm, I'm gonna. Have, 
it, I, you know, okay, so I go back, I do it again, big deal, right? Well, no big deal. I go back and I've got to go through this whole procedure, this whole intake procedure again, you know, and I'm sick and tired of it. You know, I don't and, need and that. And the prep, too. You had to do all well, that I had to do. Well, I had to do, again. it was two enemas, that's all. But, you know, two enemas is yeah. two enemas too many, you know. Yeah, uh, you, at least you feel like Mr. Clean anyway. <laughs> well, I don't know that I feel that, Mr. Clean, but I, cl I cleaned myself <laughs> out for him, you know, and and I did all that I was supposed to do, and now i got to do it again. And I only have two en one enema left in the house. I have to go out and buy more enemas. I, when he came down uh, he, and he explained the situation, I said, you know, this is driving me broke buying enemas. And he got a good laugh. And he laugh. didn't give you any? It, no, he he should have given you some freebies. It, it, yeah, he, got, he had a good laugh out of that, you know. But, I mean, geez almighty, you know? So tomorrow I should find out when, you know, when they're going to do it. So. That's crazy. Well, yeah. but you've got the time, Alex. But, but no, you know something? I, I, I don't have... The, it, this made me feel pretty lousy all the way around, you know, because I was, re, you know, I was... I was anticipatory of it. I was a little fearful of it, you know, but you, you overcome those fears and you get yourself, you say, okay, go and suck it in, go and get this thing done because after this is done, you're going to be on your way to being well, okay? Yeah. And you're ready for it. And you go, okay, I'm ready for them putting me out and me waking up uh, with time edited out of my life and then my perineum hurting and things like that, Okay. Um, but I'm, I girded myself for it. And you know it. You've gone in for operations. Suppose just before they did the operation on you, they said, oh, sorry, we're not going to do it today. You know how much anguish you go through getting yourself ready for that kind of thing emotionally? Yeah, I was doing that for the last, since December, when I had to do that uh, es escopy, whatever it was they did last week. Endoscopy? Endoscopy? Yeah, that, endoscopy, that, yeah. Yeah. And and he canceled it twice because he broke his shoulder. Oh, really? And, you know, he called one time and said, oh, I can't do it. And, uh, maybe next week. And then he called again and said, no, nah, I'm going to have to put it back two more weeks. And then it was two more weeks. And I finally did it last week. You know, it, I didn't know what to expect for that one. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was not fun, but. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's just uh, it, it's just kind of inefficiency. And I'm thinking, this is a hospital. You know, this is a life or death place. Yeah. You know, you don't make you mistakes. You have your parts on the, in the parts well, house. suppose there. somebody comes in and they, they have something horrible that's happened, uh, uh, you know, a car crash, and they need an immediate brain operation, and somehow they don't have the equipment on hand to do the brain operation. Yeah. You know, because somebody forgot to order it. Yeah. You can't just run down to the Rite Aid and grab it. Exactly. Like I can fleet enemas. I'm stocking up on like uh, the 100 pack at Costco <laughs> because, Costco. I, you know, uh, every time I turn around, somebody's asking me to use a fleet enema. So I figure at my age, it's just good to have around. You never know. Buy stock. Huh? Buy stock. Buy stock. By the way, how about where the stock market's stock gone? Up. Stock market is going down. It I went down almost, that. almost, today? almost two thousand. I wish I had sold last week. Almost two thousand points in two oh, days. Wow! Yeah, the yeah. one that I got trashed itself. It was going up to around eighty a share. Now it's back down to seventy-seven. It was up around almost ninety. Yeah. Well, in this case, uh, this has gotten. Uh, you know what I did to pay off my lawyer? I cashed in ten thousand dollars at Vanguard a couple of weeks ago. Whew, Boy, am I, gl am I glad I did that. You, you're yeah. lucky. Yeah. You, you probably saved yourself four or $5,000, right? It's, I, who knows? It. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I did make some moves last week, thank goodness. But I, there were a couple I didn't get to that didn't get activated. Uh, boy, I wish they had. Boy, I wish they had. Now i got to wait. Wow. Well, anyway, so where is everybody? I don't know. Fuck them. They yeah. went. They got onto that uh, that message you sent out and sent my phone haywire a few hours ago. Well, how to send your phone haywire? Because everybody else well, replied. I, Charlene or somebody hit the video chat or something a few hours ago, and they were talking back and forth, and my phone was dinging up back and forth, and 
Ray and Phil and Charlene and maybe I and should I just think, kill uh, even uh, uh, mm. uh, God, why am I going blank on his name? Mm. Um, oh, geez, what the hell? Pat, he was on there too, and and all of a sudden they said, you know, oh, we'll get back on in a couple hours, and nobody's shown up yet, huh? Mm. Tony got on. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they got sucked into the debate. I didn't even see the yeah, debate and myself. The post-debate stuff is still going on on all the networks uh, and channels, you know. I didn't see but any I, of I it. Think it's, I, I think it, to me, it's fairly obvious that it, if, if I'm saying today, it's got to be Bernie Sanders, and I think he's. I think he will lose. Um, but I think I, I don't see a different, but you never know. I mean, the South Carolina, I think Biden is going to, you know, come very close with Bernie. And uh, where the but, hell but, did Bernie come from? I mean, he's just he's busted loose. Now we got he's coming. To, they're coming to California. What next week? And that's Super Tuesday next week. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was out here last week in Richmond, stirring it up. Well, well, I don't know. know. I don't know what the hell's going on, but he's stir he's stirring it up all over the place. He gets a, he's got passionate followers. He definitely I mean, look, well, I the thing is he's got the whole spectrum, young and old. Well, but they, but they're not coming out to vote. Uh, if you look at I mean his, history, and if you look at the la and the three the three contests that we already have, he didn't bring out. I mean, I'm I'm just reading news reports. I, I have to look at the data, but. He did not bring out the numbers that he claims he has to have. Like it's not a, uh, it's not a big deal. He's, and I don't. I just don't know. I, I, I just, I think, I think that what he I says found is him. Right. I but found him tonight do, particularly annoying. Particularly, yeah, they were annoying. all screaming. They were all petty. The moderators didn't do their job. Uh, I, it was it was terrible. But. Finally, here, here's what I come down to thinking why Trump wins. Trump wins because our country, most people go to the dollar general and the family dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay, they don't go to the Whole Foods and the organic co-op. If they did, Bernie would win in a landslide. But most people go to the dollar general and the family dollar. And when you go there, what you realize is that people buy stuff that's not in their best interest. It's not good for them, but it's cheap. And... They're told, you know, through advertising or whatever, that that's what that's what's good. Trump wins in a world, you know, in a in a, in a country where wrestling, pro wrestling is loved, and where people shop at the Dollar General. That's just my take on well, it. Well, then then they uh, should love they should love the Democrats because these debates have been more like wrestling than they have been <laughs> like anything else. You know. Yeah. Hello, Phil. Uh, uh, hi. Well, it was a, another. He, your, your take on it, I think, is uh, uh, very st uh, stereotyped. Uh, I don't fit that mold. I shop at Whole Foods, and I'm going to vote for Trump. You know, so and and I know a lot of other people like me that do the same thing. You well, know? but I'm saying among the people that Bernie needs to get. Oh, I, I thought you said the reason Trump was going to win because their his voters shop at the dollar store and no, uh, because, I say because people shop there. I'm uh, saying uh, he has Bernie to get. He, in other, yeah. what he was saying is he he has to get to, you know, those people, and uh, he's not going to appeal to those people. And I think you're pretty right on that, Bree. I think true. Bernie Bernie is not going to appeal I mean, to those people. You know, in a room full of Democrats, uh, yes, he can poll like he polls, but uh, that's not enough to win in the general election. He's not going to be able to get the people that he should get. That he should. You know, that's right. That he needs. That he needs. Did you? Huh? Did you hear Biden yell, "Get off my lawn"? No. He yelled. I heard Warren quote Bloomberg. My brother, I didn't watch it. Warren, it said Bloomberg pretty much they said they were like lying. And she would lie through her teeth tonight. She, she would have hit her with a lawsuit tomorrow. Well, it seems like Warren is in the so domain. set on getting Bloomberg out of the race like or, or taking him down. It's like she's, she's just going for that. Some people say she wants to be vice president. So she's hoping she can kneecap him and 
she should challenge him to a duel. Well, I don't know why she was kneecapping Bloomberg when her real enemy in this whole thing is Bernie. You know, I mean, the guy to go after is Bernie. And what's going to happen is these people are going to, I'll tell you what's going to happen. These people are going to eat each other alive and Bloomberg is going to slip right in. Yeah, that's the way I see it. And who's going to be left to be vice president? And tonight, tonight, I, I may be mistaken, it sounded like it to me, when she went after Bernie, the audience started booing. And not Bernie, but after Bloomberg. The audience yeah. started yeah. booing. How much you want to bet Bloomberg paid people to be in that audience? He he and had to have. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> he had to have. Uh, I am <laughs> sure stacked that audience. The guy's smart. And he knows what to do. Oh, and they, yes. yes. Yeah, Trump, Trump does it. Bernie, Bernie, Trump does it all the time. Times. Trump does it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. They, they paused a couple times and they were definitely confused because normally they have the audience, you know, Bernie, because, you know, what he says is a lot of it makes sense. So, and he never, he usually gets cheers. So he looked definitely confused. Like, what, what kind of a reaction is this? Like, what's going on? So I think Bloomberg, yeah, the fix was in there. Well, yeah, you know, I, you know, I mean, uh, his whole his. Uh, I'll tell you the one guy that did come off kind of really good was Buttigieg. He he kind of had a, a very nice, measured mature. quality about him. Mature, mature. Yeah. He wasn't getting yeah. into the mud fight, you know. Yeah, he, he didn't adult. yell at he didn't yell at us. Yeah, he was the adult in the room. Uh, My, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what Marjorie also said. He was the only young voice in the room. Yeah, you know, yeah. among a bunch of really old, them. tired voices. Well, Klobuchar wasn't bad. Uh, uh, Bernie, uh, not Bernie. Uh, uh, Buttigieg wasn't bad. Uh, uh, Bernie was the same old thing. He's like a broken record. Yeah. And uh, you know, okay, Bernie's so a Bernie's a broken record. Bernie's a, a broken record. With, I mean. Bernie, Bernie is a broken record. Come on, I understand that we need Medicare for all. Now, do a better explanation of it for, as yes. Bree puts it, middle America, so they can understand why it's good for them, not bad for them. You know? And there are a lot of reasons why it's good. Even if it means you're going to pay more taxes, you're not going to pay, pay more in taxes than you're already paying in co-pays and, and uh, for your portion of your insurance at work. You're, it's, it's not going to come to that much. That's those are the kind of things you have to explain, not just say we're going to have Medicare for all. Well, what what does that say? Well, what does that mean? Those guys you know. are saying it's just uh, on that whole list. Huge billion, and uh, and uh, and Bernie says it's sixty billion, but you know uh, these guys are just throwing numbers out of their ass. You would think that they were getting the seeds today. Uh, the way they were spewing. You know, you know the way I would put it if I were in Bernie's position, I would go after the. Uh, insurance companies, uh, and he doesn't do that. He doesn't really go after the insurance companies when really they're the evil factor in all of this and the reason we should have single-payer health care, okay? Probably, in, hmm? you know, he's been he's been representing them for uh, all his adult life. Who? Uh, Bernie, since he's 22, he's been in government. Yeah, but you uh, say he's been representing who? Uh the big business. What do you think keeps getting him elected? Who, Bernie? You know? Yeah. So he takes. I'm the, sorry. The I'm sorry. You got the wrong guy. You got the wrong no, guy. It's okay. He says he takes twenty seven dollars from this one and twenty seven dollars from that That's one. Wrong. But the bottom line is, uh, you know, in in the old days when he was uh, in, uh, I he voted for uh, gun. Not he didn't vote for gun control. He says, oh, now he's saying that these were bad. Uh -huh bad votes that that he made a mistake but on the other but, hand on the other hand bloomberg can't apologize none of them are going to apologize no but he apologized for that no no but i'm saying that 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 bernie bernie is apologizing now for his vote on guns which he was giving he, him the guns, and all Bloomberg was doing was taking the guns away from him. No, no, what he, like no, no, like no, 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 no. What was happening here is that he was representing Vermont, and in Vermont there are yeah. a lot of hunters up there, and so therefore you do defend gun ownership if you're going to get reelected in your home state. All right, 
Uh, so that's what, what he was up against. Now, if he is apologetic for that now, then great. But don't go ahead and say, I don't accept your apology, Merrick Bloomberg, for what you did with yeah, that's the true. stop and frisk. You know, right. He was just said, all right, I stopped too many. Yeah. yeah. He was, Brian went down. But with Bernie, what's happening now is he's, got, he's in this old man rut. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's the yeah. same thing I, all the time. Yeah, Billionaires. Uh, uh, yeah. He, 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 yeah. Back. Rather than Welcome say, one uh, if, I, if I had all that time, I wouldn't spend it going after Bloomberg or going after somebody else on the panel like he does. And he seems like he's very mad. He does not seem like a nice person up there. They were all mad. Yeah. Except Buttigieg. But they were all mad. You know, and especially Biden. I, you know, he is an angry dude. Yeah, he's got issues, I think. Him, and he couldn't get out. I don't know if you if you felt this way, but he couldn't get out a coherent sentence to save his life tonight. I mean, I'm looking at Marjorie and going, "What did he just say?" Yeah. I, I don't understand. To to I don't understand. What, 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 Bree, you agree with that? <laughs> oh, well, Bree said it before. But the dentures. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a bill. He's not familiar with that mouth. With his, he teeth, with his own teeth. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't familiar with his own mouth. <laughs> Klobuchar said that Munch cereal. <laughs> what? Uh, Bernie says he authored a bill. Klobuchar says she authored the bill, and uh, you know they were basically calling each other liars. Uh, yeah, I wrote the bill. bill. Well, I mean, I could author uh, a thousand bills, but it's the one that actually goes to the floor and gets voted on that counts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think Biden, has, uh, you know, really needs to rethink well, his. Who's going to drop out then next? Well, see, Biden thinks that he's thirty percent ahead or fifteen percent ahead of everybody nationally. Actually, so after he, after next Tuesday, you will see who will drop out. After yeah. after big uh, after, um, what do you call it? Big Tuesday, Tuesday or whatever Tuesday. they call it. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm but I don't know because they could take their delegates to a brokered convention. Oh, I well, don't think it's going to be a brokered convention. Well, I think all conventions should be I think brokered. It's absolutely possible. I think all conventions should be brokered, and I think this whole idea of primaries is a really bad idea. I think your friend Biden has a good chance because I was listening to a guy today. He says, "Look, Bernie has 30 percent of the vote, and the other 70 percent uh, of the Democratic vote." is split between all the other candidates. So if uh, the other candidates who aren't... Uh, no, you're, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, he, he's not going to look as good once two or three people get out of the race. Exactly. You, you're going to see support for either uh, Bloomberg or Biden or, uh, or, or Buttigieg uh, because the more moderates make up 70 percent of uh, of who's talking out there and and, and, and the republican that's what biden's counting on well, and he's right i think i don't want Biden. well one of the things that bernie does that other democrats you know he he kind of is taking this approach like let's go all the way let's just go all the way you know and none of these and, and there's a obviously there's passion in that there's a lot of people that enjoy that and yeah. And it's and it's going to, you know, fire up his base in the nomination. Uh, but he's going to have to shift for the national. And you, I don't think he can. I think he's he does the same thing he always does. He can't and probably wouldn't even get any of his uh, uh, ideas uh, into, into into action. Uh, it's all pie in the sky. And uh, I, I can't believe that people are falling for that stuff. You know, he's 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 just. Uh, well, but it sounds good. Well, it, it sounds, sounds good. good. Who, who doesn't but, want everybody to be covered by health care? I mean, who yeah, wants people to be thrown out, you know, because you can't go into the emergency room? We all know stories of people who have had trouble or don't want to go. I read something about a guy in Florida who came back with a virus from China. And he, so he went to get it checked. And they charge him like ten thousand dollars or something, and it turns out he just has the regular flu, and he can't afford it. What he message does that send everyone? Wasn't he out of uh, network? I, I don't know, but <laughs> that's the kind of that thing, should though. not you be know. a crime, Phil. That's right. That should not be a crime. 
Put the cuffs on the guy. He was out of network. He was out of network. <laughs> yeah, you know. of Just take the insurance. Well, I think the story that uh, that um, uh, was told a couple of weeks ago on um, uh, tonight, uh, last week tonight with, uh, what's his name? Uh, John Oliver. John Oliver. Uh, yeah, I listened to And that. he talked about this one this one woman. He did, he did a thing on, on Medicare for all and why people are afraid of it and so on. It was interesting, didn't you think, Phil? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he made some. He made some good I, points. I, you know. Yeah. I had to like meditate for ten minutes after watching a John Oliver piece. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was more in support of Trump when I got done uh, listening to him. But anyway, and, uh, but the but the story he told about this woman who had something wrong with her, and she had to, she couldn't take the ambulance because they couldn't get one that was in network. So finally, somebody drove her to a hospital that was 20 miles away from the nearest hospital because um, uh, it wasn't in network, okay? So then she got to the hospital that was in network, was admitted, and then was treated by a doctor who wasn't in network, and she got a bill for $5,000, okay? See what I mean? This is a problem. These are the yeah, problems see, this, we've got. This has got to stop. Yeah. And, Trump, and, and, and Alex, did you hear? Wait a minute. Let, let's let Bree talk. Yes. Bernie said the magic word for me, which gets me very excited. He said dental. Dental. Oh, I could have used him for he he's, 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 he wants a dental coverage. I'll tell you. You know, I've argued that for years that, you know, we have Medicare. We, we should have dental care. I mean, uh, he gives me dental. I'll, go, I'll give him an enema myself, Alex, if I get dental. <laughs> For the most part, it isn't worth anything. No, no. What? What, Phil, Phil, to begin with, huh? I have pretty good dental coverage, believe it or not. I get $2,500 a year. I do, too. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and it's, it's pretty damn good. I mean, it's certainly better than none at all. But the thing right, is, that my, my clinics are 175. I'd kill for that. I got 100 bucks. My argument, you know, and also my net doctor is in network, for instance. So I'm gonna have to pay 1,600 dollars towards my uh, um, uh, my, uh, my my implant. But the fact is that uh, they're only gonna pay the doctor 3,200 because she's in network. So she has to take she's what they it. say it's it's worth. But anyway, the I point is why the, why more people why more candidates don't come forward and say I want to I want all well, dental Well, here's why I'm like, why there are a couple of reasons why we should have dental care. I mean, Number one, right people with bad teeth are prone to more illnesses than just bad teeth because of it. Secondly, uh, if a guy's missing two front teeth and he goes in for a job, do you think he's going to get it? You know, like Tom may, Steyer. I'll be cleaning out the bathrooms. As yeah, well I mean, uh, the <laughs> fact is Tom that Steyer? if you if you fix the, the if you fix that for those first <laughs> two, the, the, the front teeth on that guy, he could maybe go out and get a job. Jeez, and you know, yeah. <laughs> be, a pro, be, be, be a very productive citizen. You know, yeah, what's up with Tom Steyer's I, teeth? I'd get a job. I, I don't know. Jeez. Well, turn turn down turn down your audio. Yeah, pretty, pretty, very productive citizen. Wait a minute. Yeah, mute your audio there. Yeah. Why is Phil yeah. anti-dentist for free? I don't get it. He wants to buy, he wants to put his dentist on vacation every six months. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> but Alex, the dentist would get paid if we had Medicare for all. They would get paid right away. No worrying about people no, collecting Not Medicare money. for all. We're talking about dental care now, though. Tony. Oh, I mean, dental care for, you know, my dentist, they have people who they pay as they go because they don't have the money. Just imagine if, if you had some work done and it was a thousand I, I'm going to tell you something. Okay, give me a dental card. Boom. I'm going to tell, tell you know. something about, uh, de uh, about uh, health care that <clears throat> wasn't brought up by John Oliver. And that is, you ever go into your doctor's office and see how many people are working there? Not a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. How many are people, uh, how, how many people are working there and how many of those people working there? are in the department that deals with insurance. There are maybe five women working on dental insurance, and the two others yep. are nurses, you know? It, it says that Bernie Sanders' new Medicare for All plan includes dental. I'm going to feel that's good if he can do it. He, yeah, if he Jeff, can do I it. Think that's optical for all because he's got new glasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's looking neater. Yeah, they're, he's getting. Definitely. They're putting better suits on him and everything. But I mean, I just you know, I just think that uh, uh, the Democrats are just. 
They, 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 they showed I, us what they were tonight. Well, well, it isn't a matter of what they are. It's what they aren't, actually. Yeah, not qualified. Well, I think, look, um, I think um, certain people there are qualified. You know, I, I think Bloomberg is qualified. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I think... Um, I better think, tonight. Huh? Yeah, he did better tonight. tonight. But, you know, I mean, let's face it. He's not Mr. Charisma. You yeah, know? he's got no personality. And, and right. the other problem he's is, cool the go. other problem is, and it's the biggest problem of all, and I think Jeff would agree with me, he's Jewish. I noticed that. And they don't like Jews that much out there in middle America, you know. As a matter of fact, let me bring up something. I have noticed something lately in this age of Trump, okay, that is appearing more and more on television, and that's dramas that have to do with anti-Semitism. Really? Yeah. Like what? Uh, and and a lot of it. Well, there's a show called The Hunters or Hunters. Well, uh, that was um, great. I watched an episode last night. I watched the they whole thing. It's not that great. It it it, no. it, it there the the stuff about the concentration camps and stuff is really good. Uh, and there's certain sub stories that go on that are very good, but overall, it's another bad acting job by Al Pacino, and um, it's another. Um, it, it, it's not. It's not terribly good. I, I wish that it were, but it and isn't. I saw two uh, Better Call Sauls last night. There, too. there was only one. No, there's two now. There's two. And two. I haven't seen the second uh, one. It's five. Huh? Really? Uh, the, the fifth, yeah. When did it come on? Tonight? No, nah, yesterday. Yesterday? No, they only had one. No, nah, well, I saw two. Well, I, I, I only saw, saw one. I only got one. Uh, I signed up for uh, a Hulu didn't have AME. Uh, so, and Netflix only had series one through four. So I signed up for uh, YouTube wait, TV. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. You were watching last season. No, no season five. What was the first? Well, what, how did it start? Uh, it, let's, let me see. I, I watched the second one before I watched the first one. Uh, well, wait a minute. There is a better call yeah. Saul 2. Yes, there is. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Oh, He's working uh, yes, there is. It yes, definitely is. There's a second episode on, on five, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take a drink. Yeah. Well, no, I I didn't. I missed it. You know, Marjorie's going to be very happy about it tomorrow night because she'll have another one to watch. Yeah, it was um, very good. Uh, but I think they may have, they may have come out on two different days. No. No. Yeah. No, yeah, I think no. they did. No, they're both on. Uh, they were both came out in a second. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, I, I'm, I'm, I'm downloading it, and uh, wait a minute. Uh, I did download it, and it's not uh, it's not downloading. Here we go. Let me see here. There we go. All right. Okay. So she'll be very happy we with that about tomorrow. Better call Saul. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. I never got into Hello, any Ray. Of How are you? I'm okay. R Ray, hey, is it on AMC or Hulu or what? It's on AMC. Uh, AMC. Okay. I canceled AMC. Oh well. Okay. Yeah. I I I got AMC when I had uh, Sling. I canceled Sling and got Hulu, and and uh, so I I couldn't get it. So I had a trial, a free trial with YouTube TV that had it, and I saw both episodes with YouTube TV. YouTube TV. So, oh, so it's all is on YouTube TV. Yeah. You, not oh, okay, you. I'll just do that. Oh. TV, you got to sign up. Back. I'm going to lunch. Yeah. I'll check in if you're there. I'll do that. I'll do it. Oh, you're, you're going to yeah. lunch? Okay. Well, we'll yeah, just we'll just keep your picture there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay. All righty. Okay. So he, he, he said what? Uh, that's what Arnold Schwarzenegger said. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, uh, no. What I was saying is, you had this show, The Hunters. Okay, we got all. Uh, mixed up here, called the Hunters, uh, which is about hunting Nazis in America, because there was this whole mm -hmm. plot, and so that had a lot of anti-Semitism in it. Okay, the whole thing. And then there was one other show. Uh, I'm trying to remember uh, that's coming up. Yeah, this one about Lindbergh. 
becoming president instead of Roosevelt and the whole country oh, becoming that. a Nazi state yeah. as a result well, the of it? High Castle one is also... No, that, the high that, 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 that has the premise, what if Hitler won the war? Yeah. Right. The, the, these things don't have that. The, these things have the idea of a... Well, well that, the one with Lindbergh winning, it's built based on a Philip Roth book, is all about anti-Semitism. So we're seeing a lot of shows lately about anti-Semitism, and one of the lines is uh, on the preview that I saw for this one about Lindbergh. Uh, she says, "Yeah, they want to make America great." You know. Ooh, that's yeah. I mean, come on, that's as direct as you're gonna get. Yeah. Other than the guy wearing a fucking hat. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but um, uh, there's a you know there is a lot of anti-Semitism going on now, so it's become now the the plot du jour for a lot of programs. So you know, pretty interesting. It's easy. Everybody loves to hate the Jews. Hmm? They've been hating Jews for a thousand years. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. Well, what's thousands. not to hate? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what's not to hate? <laughs> you we I have to say most of your best comedians I always thought were Jewish. Right. Yeah. That's Got beat up when they were in school, so they no, had to they be. Yeah, they got beat people. up because they were Jewish yeah. in school, and they became they funny. They were smart. No, what they, what they learn, uh, most comedians <laughs> were kids in school who got beaten up, and what they learned is if they could make somebody laugh, they'd have a hard time throwing a punch. Really, it's true. Right. I had more yeah. than one comic tell me that that they used it as a defense against the schoolyard bully. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. I had a friend that uh, always knew the flip side of records, and uh, so they would, you know, like you have a 45, and you'd have the, the hit, and the back, you'd have the flip side. And so they would not beat him up if he got the flip side right, and, uh, you know, and he had a career in the music business. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Went to Erasmus Hall High School. You know, anyway, was, so, you know, sure. uh, but, um, uh, you know, when we talk about Medicare for all, uh, I, I certainly wish if we had Medicare for all that they would make sure that the hospital systems were good <laughs> and uh, didn't have problems. But, I mean, well, what I went through today, no one should have to go through. This is just un unspeakable, uh, you know. You know what, though, Alex? People make mistakes. And uh, uh, as inconvenient uh, wait a minute, as it when, was... When, your do when, when my doctor cheaper. says they're making these mistakes more and more often, there's a trend right. at this hospital, and also because Marjorie's doctors, who also work at Mount Sinai, have all complained to her about the same thing. Because Medicare's yeah. paying less and less. They have no, fewer no, people. No, 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 no. They're insur Most of these people are getting they're getting money from insurance companies too, and they're paying less and less. Okay. Oh, yeah. So don't so don't blame don't blame Medicare. Medicare, in fact, I asked a doctor once, who would you rather get uh, uh, who would you rather get your money from, an insurance company or Medicare? And he said, I'd much rather get it from Medicare because with Medicare, three weeks later, it's in my it's in my pocket. He said, with the insurance companies, it takes me six months of haggling to get the money. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, see, Phil I, just I, just I, lets that fall aside because he doesn't have an I, argument for that one. Answering you, uh, you know, I, I find that it depends on the quality. <clears throat> insurance company you're dealing with i feel so you don't find anything because you're going to an hmo no no i'm talking about uh you know home repairs i deal with insurance companies half of my business comes from insurance companies. yeah but it's not the same as the medical insurance people we're talking about medical insurance which is <laughs> yeah, uh, all money not for the floor is leaking come on and that's there kind of certain companies, there are certain companies that give you the minimum and less than the minimum and there's others that give you more that and more, yeah. you know, and it depends on it depends on the company. It depends on the rates you pay. If you get the cheapest rates, you're going to get the cheapest service. Well, all I'm saying is is that 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 we're we're not talking about that. We're talking about medical insurance. It's, you know, it's, not, it's not the same as flooring, you know, or, or home home insurance. It's blown off in a storm. The insurance company has to, you know, has to pay. Yes, but it's not. It's, uh, sick, all I'm saying is we're talking apples and oranges here. We're talking about medical uh, payments. And this is something that's very important to most Americans. Okay? You know? Um, 
There's Bree. He's walking. You know, yeah, on his way for food. Yeah, he must he's be on the camera. They can't food. that he can't turn. He's foraging for food in a foreign country. I see. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I so I'll probably bypass the subway sandwich shop right now. Yeah, yeah. If this was Venezuela, he'd be going from dumpster to dumpster. You can't get panor <laughs> you can't get panoramic on that, can you, uh, Bree? Well, yeah, I can. I mean I'm walking on, you know. If you want to lose weight, just go to Venezuela. You no, you know what it you know. Oh, you know what it is <laughs> when you don't have your front camera facing camera on. Okay, the front facing camera will go panoramic. The oh. the the face front won't. So if you go to the uh, the front camera, you know, the then one on I the can't back. I can see all of your beautiful faces. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> I had to buy a new phone for Faye today. Mm -hmm. I got her an iPhone 10R. Oh, and she left her iPhone 6S plug for the car and drove off. You what? And she put her iPhone 6 Plus on the roof and then oh drove it. Oh, so yeah. Had... I had to buy her another phone. Yeah. So um, anyway, I buy her an iPhone 10R, and uh, we go to set it up tonight. Can't get it set up. Uh, we're going to have to call Verizon again. Why? Why she can't you get it set up? Why hmm? can't you get it set up? I don't. It just says it won't connect. And the Verizon store says that the Verizon business didn't activate it. So, so you have to wait till tomorrow for them to activate it? Yeah, if they can, we may have to send it back. Boy, this and is worse than Mount Sinai. Yeah, the Verizon store sold her one of those uh, screen protector things that they put on. Yeah. And if I have to send the phone back, I, I, you know, I paid for a screen protector thing. And I said, why would you have them put that on? Before they activated, mm. you know? yeah, yeah. But anyway, so um, 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 you know, getting back to tonight's debate, it was it was I think if the Democrats keep going the way they are, they're just you know I mean Trump is beatable, but by the right person and the right mindset and the right set of selling points to the American public. Uh, and it can be done, but they don't know how to do it. They don't have a clue. Hillary's got practice. She'll she'll volunteer. Yeah, yeah, sure. We want her she back again, like I want another she... prostate cancer. Uh, uh, Kevin, um, um, would you would you agree with that assessment that the the Democrats don't have a chance? At this point, I they're, agree they're with cannibalizing that. Cannibalizing themselves. Yeah. Yeah, they're eating each other up. Well, and they won't have enough. They won't have enough time to, you know, if they picked one today, they might have enough time to rally the troops. But the way that it works, they're not going to have enough time. Uh, by the way, that isn't working sideways either. Wow, cars cars travel on their side in Malaysia. Y yeah, yeah. Probably you should just give us your picture. Yeah, that's better than. Nothing at all. Anyway, so I, you know, I mean, I just, uh, what I saw tonight, Marjorie, after about 10 minutes, said, please turn this off. This is agonizing, you know. Yeah. And like, you know, we're lefties and, you know, we want Medicare for all and we want people to win this election. And these people are, there's not one in the bunch who, uh, there's one in the bunch who can. And it was explained very interestingly the other day. And that's Bloomberg. And here's the reason why. A, we all know he's got, a, he's got a, 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 a amazing amounts of money. He can just drown Trump with his money, okay? That's for starters. Secondly, and this was the one they brought up, he has a company that's a very highly technically proficient company. They're one of the best technology companies in the business, and he's got the technology ability to win an election, you know? And he can the audience. Huh? Packed the audience tonight. Who? I am sure. Where, where would he? Oh, Trump, Trump hired actors. That's an interesting when point. Because everybody would the, uh, When he if, came if down Bloom, the uh, escalator. If Trump, Bloomberg they had didn't actors. pay, if Bloomberg didn't pay those people in the audience, did he you wouldn't have gotten one cheer. Did, did you did you just hear what the what the what the Bree said? Uh, Trump had people. 
Trump paid people when he was coming down the escalator. All that was a paid audience. They had to pay them to come in off the street. That's smart. And what Bloomberg did was smart. You know, I, I'm, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I mean, at least he had the foresight to do it. Well, if, you, if, you, if he did do it, we don't know that he did. You're only sure he did. no. You're sure that he did, but we don't. We can't take what you believe to the bank. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I think it's yeah. highly likely. Not sure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Bree. What were you saying? I think it's highly likely that he did have people there. Yeah. Interesting. You're upside down in every which way, Bree. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to keep it regular. The only way um, you're going to be able to do that is uh, get another phone. But meanwhile, why don't you turn it on yourself? Because then it, then it looks okay, you know? Yeah. Faye, Faye has a phone on Highway 6. Oh, we, we, we already know that Bloomberg, oh, somebody, the, the reports are people. that Bloomberg has been paying social media influencers to start memes about him and to post. So, I mean, look, he's using everything at his disposal, and he's got so much money. So, you know, he's out there, and they're saying, hey, you got to do this. He's like, how much, a million? Yeah, do it. How much? Two million? No problem. Do it. Hey, by the way, we have time to sell here on the on the show. Uh, yes, uh, 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 Mr. Zeller, Jeff has something to say. Hello, Jeff. Hi, guys. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to listen to this tonight. I was out having dinner or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but uh, how did the uh, how did Biden uh, make out today, and some of the others? I thought Biden was terrible. I thought Biden was terrible. Yeah, he he uh, he sounded like he yelled, "Get off my lawn!" He was one <laughs> angry, angry <laughs> person. <laughs> well, you know what it is. None of these people know how to be what they should be in order to win. In other words, you've got Elizabeth Warren there being exceedingly nasty, thinking that's the way to the White House. Okay. And and uh, and and then you've got um, uh, Bernie uh, Bernie Sanders doing the same exact thing. I mean, he's just he's mad. He's uh, he's pedantic. Uh, there's nothing lovable about Bernie. Okay, Bloomberg isn't that way. He's well, mean. Bloomberg actually angry. allowed Bloomberg himself to. Mean. No, he wasn't, and he actually allowed himself to look like the guy who was getting beaten up, and everybody could take pity on him. I mean, those boos that Elizabeth Warren got may have been genuine. They may have not been from the audience you say he set up in there. Uh, but they were booing her when she went after Bloomberg. And what one would consider, I, I looked over at Marjorie when she was doing it and said, cheap shot, just cheap shot. Boo her when she goes after Bloomberg. That's his paid audience. What I'm saying is, let's say there isn't a paid audience in there, Phil. Let's for a moment uh, say that maybe didn't isn't, isn't what happened. I know you don't want to believe it, but let's just let's just say it didn't happen. The fact yeah, was she know. got booed, no matter which way you want to which way you want to call it. And it was a, a, for a remark that I looked over at Marjorie and went, "That's a cheap shot." And so yeah. I even got I mean, mad at it. So if I were there, I would have booed her. Didn't Bloomberg say it was a cheap shot? Huh? He did. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Think he, I think he said that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, uh, you know, Klobuchar. I, I mean, Biden to begin with, to begin with, Bloomberg, right. Bloomberg, after the last debate, went and uh, took three women uh, who had those non-disclosure agreements and. and took their non-disclosure agreements away from them. They didn't, they could say anything they wanted to. Okay. And then he said, he also told his company that we will end the process, pro the, the process of doing non-disclosure agreements uh, in this company. And she goes back and starts yelling at him. Oh, and you didn't do that. And blah, 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 blah. Rather than that, she should have come back and said, well, I guess I did something good because you reacted to what I said by taking that away from your company. Bloomberg said I, mm -hmm. it wouldn't matter what I did. It wouldn't be good enough Yeah, uh, you know, to him, to her. Yeah, uh, and, and, he's, and he's right. But she should, have, she should have at that point, I was thinking to myself, all she had to say was, well, I guess you took my advice, huh? And I, I got something done by getting you to drop those non-disclosure agreements and, and give herself the win rather than allow him to take the win. Okay? I don't think she Hence the sure. Democrats eating their own. Huh? 
hence the Democrats eating their own. Yeah. They, they sure. just let themselves get swallowed. Yep. Yep. It's too bad, too. You know, which it's, happens it, in the primaries. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, and then, and then, you know, wait a minute, there's a lot of the noise end. going on somewhere here. Yes. Yeah, he muted. Uh, Ray? Was Steyer still up there? I didn't see the, depth, the debate yet. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was there. And, um, well, I'm still voting for Tulsi Gabber. I think she's still running, so... I'm holding out. Totally. Really, you really think you, you really yeah, think like you're going to get blown out of that, huh? <laughs> ah, you never know. It's worth it. I, I by, by that, by the way, uh, um, um, YouTube. I meant uh, blown uh, in the sense of blowing up, like uh, boom, kind of. No, no, windsurfing with her because she windsurfs. Yes, so okay. going to get blown by the wind. Yeah. Yes, right, right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, um, we knew that. Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I just, uh, I was, I just looked at it for a couple of minutes, and I just went, you know, nobody here has a clue. I think, I think Buttigieg does have a bit of a idea of what it takes to win, uh, and and he could appeal to middle America. I know you're going to say, oh, well, he's gay and all of that. You know, it's gotten to the point where everybody, because people come out a lot, everybody, even those people in the Midwest. He's in the gay. in the Midwest, well, well, wait a minute. In the Midwest, all have somebody they know who's gay now, or some relative who's gay now. So you know, it's it doesn't carry with the same kind of onus it once did. Otherwise, Buttigieg wouldn't even be running. But the blacks don't like gays, and he needs the black vote to. There are a lot uh, of black gays. Yeah. What do you think that? What do you think being homosexual is racial? In San Francisco and in New York. But in North, uh, South Carolina, uh, uh, he oh. does not have the support of the blacks that uh, that Biden does. Well, because and, because you, 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 well, well, you're, so you're, you're you're being, I think, racist in that assumption. I'm just being, uh, you're being accurate. To no, you're not being accurate. It. You're being racist, and you're being told it's by not, other racists. To, to, I've, seen, I've seen black preachers and so on talking about the Buttigieg factor and saying that, no, we are far more forgiving people about things like that than, than, than anybody would like to portray us as. No, I, you know, that's but Alex, just, that's Alex can I make a point on this? Uh, yeah, yes, Bree. Well, at the, at, the, at the risk of, uh, you know, incurring the wrath of, of everyone. By the way, you um, have to turn your head he sideways to see his whatever he's shooting there, folks. Okay, go ahead. Yes, Bree. Oh, sorry about that. I, you know, I thought I had it correct. Um, yeah. My phone is weird. Um, I, I don't even know if this is worth bringing up. But Buttigieg had a moment recently on the campaign stop where he had a nine-year-old boy who came up onto the stage, I don't know if any of you saw this, and he came out and he asked Buttigieg for his advice. And I, I don't know how I feel about this, to tell you the truth. I, I absolutely want everyone to, you know, who was born this way to, to feel, how, you know, and to be able to say that. But when it comes to sexual orientation, I, I kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm a prude, but I don't think that you really need to expose that until you're 15, 16, 17, you're becoming an adult. At age nine, I just don't think that it's appropriate to be discussing one's sexual orientation. Now, maybe that's again. Maybe that's could I could I, again, could I could I could I argue that, Bree, by saying that if at nine years old you know you're gay or you feel you're gay and you feel bad about it, and it's 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 a real problem in your life, even at nine years old. Then you have to articulate it to somebody. You know, I can't. Somebody is sexual engaging. Phil, you're absolutely wrong. By the way, turn your audio off. Uh, whoever's making it, uh, Bree, turn your audio off because we can't hear uh, Phil. I, I just don't. Yeah. Uh, yes, Phil. Yeah. What were you saying? Uh, I was saying that uh, someone at the age of nine is is even prepubescent. I don't think that they. Uh, I agree with Bree that uh, it's not an age appropriate time to be discussing this kind of sexuality or making a choice for your sexuality uh, when uh, you haven't even been or, or you're not at the point where you're sexual. Uh, 
That's your right. opinion. Not wrong. That's your opinion based on your own experience. Who says wrong? Wrong. Who said? Hey, you know, okay, wait a minute. Is that Ray? Young enough wait, to wait, wait, But listen, but, listen you know, to somebody, Phil. Ray. Wrong. Wrong. Oh, you know, oh, some, it's Kevin. Uh, it's what's Kevin. His name uh, Kevin. Uh, an Ambler uh, guy. You know, Kevin. Hey, do you stop, Phil? I'm trying to get some other people to say <laughs> something here. Yeah, Kevin. Who was saying I'm wrong? I'm trying to get my camera straight. Who was saying wrong? I think Kevin. Did this work? I was. No. Okay, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, How's my video? I have now? personal okay. experience in that. Sideways. Yeah. Anyway, wait a minute. Come on. Let's. I don't want to talk about cameras and <laughs> where they are. Let Kevin talk, Kevin. please. Yes, Kevin. Kevin. What? Yeah, I was. I was just gonna say that, you know, I, without going into details, I have personal experience in that exact, uh, in that exact uh, situation, and what Phil is saying is absolutely wrong. Okay, would you can you give us a little bit of your experience? You don't have to name names or anything. Uh, let's just say it was a friend, mm -hmm. and a friend of mine in the. Uh, without getting into too much detail, a friend of mine did the same thing, came out and I didn't have a problem with it. Yeah, but what we were talking about young kids. At what age Very do yes. they realize their sexuality? Uh, middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Yeah. And it was it was difficult. But you, uh, you have to learn to accept something that someone tells you they feel that way. I mean, people, kids, kids who are transsexual. Are you, should they be having sex at nine, age nine? No, no, no that's not no. what we're, that's not what, that, that, that's that not what the matter. question, that, the, do you know oh, that well. the kids, wait a minute, kids who are <laughs> trans, kids who are transsexual know it from like three years old. Four years old. It doesn't you don't necessarily? No, no Phil, you can't the, go no because science is against you going no. Kids at three years old dress up in dresses if they're men, they or Phil, boys. They, they yes, no. But then it's, by it's, the time they turn four, they're wearing cowboy outfits. They're not still wearing the dresses. Okay. At, at three, they don't know. God, I gotta take this thing off my. Off my, there's no way to get well, it off. I got the, it on here for the, the rest of my life. Tell us about his gay experience. The doctor's gonna call you and say, "Come on in, <laughs> come on in." Tell, tell the story, Alex. Tell the story. But you're still, you're still. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jeff, Jeff, uh, are you? Uh, 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 turn on your mic. But say if it would have saved his life, the kid. You know, maybe he wanted to talk to somebody. You never know. Uh, yes, Jeff. Yeah. We can't hear you. I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. I don't understand how any of us can say what a three-year-old is yeah. doing, not doing. And I don't remember what I was doing. Like, when did you become an expert on three years old? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Phil. Hey, I got and I, You remember, I didn't say three-year-old. Phil did. One did is 29 you? now, and the other is 26. But I remember when they were born, and I they grew up. Uh, with me in their household until they were uh, 8 and 11. So I can tell you that I have personal experience, and uh, I don't think kids know uh, what, what's you're wrong, going on. Phil. At, at you're, you're wrong, Phil. Science what, what, has no. proved you wrong. Yes, Ray. 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 Ray wants to talk. Ray wants to talk. Ray. Okay. All right. When my son was in middle school, I used to think that the same as Phil and Bree. But there were all kinds of middle schoolers coming out, and it was good for them because otherwise they would have to hide it for years like everyone else has who's our age. And if they want to change their mind later, that's fine. But these kids were gay, and my son would tell me everybody knew who was gay. They came out, and they were much healthier for it. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. In that school. What? Yeah. What, they, what bullshit thing did you say? I said, what did they put in the water? Yeah, I, I knew it was something stupid like oh, that. Oh, come on. No, that's not nice. Yeah, it's not well, nice, Phil. The thing it's... is that, I, okay, so there, there's something we can talk about, and Shit we like can that. agree, and we can say it's fine, but what does the voter think and when they go into the voting booth? I mean, that's a consideration. Well, Don't you want the best candidate to defeat Trump? Yes, and I think that... I want the most mature uh, candidate, <laughs> 
believes. What's that got to do with it? it, it can, they uh, said it, Obama it, could never win because he was black and he won. Come on. That's true. Yeah, yeah exactly. He was, he was able to get the vote out. He was able to get people to vote that never voted before. I don't think that these guys are exciting well, enough that's a good to point. get the vote out. Well, now yeah, that, now there you have a good point. You know, He's right about that. To give him that, yeah. You know, the um, three-year-old. Thing I mean, there's no, the, there's no killer app like Obama. Obama was yeah. the killer app for the Democrats. He was the perfect stealth candidate. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Uh, he had charm. He had intelligence. He had, you know, he had all the things going for him, and none of the things going against him. Even his black was kind of part white, so it made whites feel more comfortable with him than they would have somebody who, uh, yeah, uh, somebody you know, who was... You don't remember the quote? My mother used to quote when he spoke. What? What? She used to say, he, oh, was it, what, my, what? when Obama spoke, my mother used to say he's very classy, like Sidney Poitier. He had like a captivating thing on him. She's always going to report everything, guess who's coming to dinner, but I mean... Well, he, but made, he was captivating. He made you forget he was black. Yeah, he, he just and he, was just, he just made you think of him as another human being. That's it. He did have a good style, though. He made you feel at ease, though. Oh yeah, he was. He was. He, he was forget Jewish. <laughs> he was a charm. Imagine if you said I'm black and Jewish. They would have all ran for couple. <laughs> okay, how much did I pay for lunch today? Okay, I'm saying, uh, huh? What are you saying? Read off. I'm getting twelve. Uh, uh, whatever. Well, what did you have, Bree? Taco. What what'd you we have? Had a, uh, I'm having a chicken shawarma sandwich with French fries, uh -huh. and I'm having a pulled milk tea, pulled pulled milk tea to drink. Pulled milk tea. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go uh, close to to uh, uh, Phil. I'm gonna save three fifty. You are exactly correct. Ah. Three fifty. Ah. See? So don't tell he me. Would have uh, five if I didn't say three. <laughs> See the socialist one. Yeah. You know, uh as for Bernie Sanders uh and the whole socialist thing, I think that's a killer uh for that for him. Only because guys like Trump have tainted the word socialism. And I don't even like him because he says I'm a democratic socialist. It's like you know, I, that's like saying I'm a Christian Jew. Okay, come on. Do <laughs> you remember when you Reagan was Florida? So the, the, the Trump word right now. Was, was a dirty word. It, when it, Reagan was running, he he made he liberal made word liberal, liberal a dirty word. Yeah, a dirty word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, socialism will live up to that. Well, you know, I mean, uh, socialism is. Uh, uh, you know, if you're a socialist, you're a socialist. If you're not, if you're not a socialist, then say I'm not a socialist. I'm something else. You know, uh, I, and and I uh, I'm I'm you know I'm a, I'm not a democratic socialist. I'm a socialist. That's it, plain and simple. Now, you're Fox, I, you're a communistic socialist. But I'm not a communist because I don't like communism. I think communism is a bad ideology uh, uh, at, at, at the least. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it is an unworkable ideology. So, so you don't like uh, government ownership of everything? No, so I that, don't like uh, government. They, no, I don't. You see, the problem I have with but that socialism, isn't socialism. That isn't socialism, I, I, Phil. The problem I have with socialism is it kills the work ethic. People say, "Well, I'm going to get paid the same as as Billy Bob." No, over no, there. no, 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 Phil. It has work. nothing to do with what you get paid. You don't yeah, understand it, the first. It, it's Phil, 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 Phil. Come back and uh, when you when you finally figure out what social what socialism <laughs> really is, come back know. and tell me, okay? Because you don't have an i you don't have a an iota of what it is. You know, everybody gets the same. They you know they they all get no 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 no. We had don't, corporate socialism when we bailed out Wall Street. Phil, the British are a socialistic system. There are rich pe no, people in England. They're not a socialistic system. They are they, a social, they, very they, highly socialistic they, system. If France is a highly socialistic country. How about how about the Netherlands? You want to talk about socialism? Oh, uh, they have social. Oh programs. no! Now you're making well, it up. Now you're making it up, well, Phil. The fact is, they are they are socialist countries. 
They are socialist they are countries. And they are a highly uh, w- uh, uh, uh. welfare state. But they're all capitalists. Oh, well, boy. Uh, you don't understand the first thing about... And, wait a minute. Okay, Phil, please stop. Stop. Because you're, you're interrupting everybody else joining in here. Uh, Ray, what do you think about what he's saying? Do you think he understands what socialism is? No, he no he doesn't. Or he does, and he's feigning that he doesn't. No, I know exactly what it is. No, and you, you don't. See. Not from what you just said. It's You've never been to France. If you, okay, I'm done he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> but they are a welfare state. Mm-hmm. They, they give a lot of uh, welfare uh, programs. And they tax very highly. But that's not socialistic. That's not socialistic. Yeah, and everybody eats cheese, too. Those yeah. are not socialistic. Oh, what is it then? Capitalistic. Oh, it's capitalistic, but it's a welfare yeah. state. With welfare. Well, when we, <laughs> you're making, no, you know, you're making a whole set of rules. Wall Street. I can't wait to get my Bernie cheese. <laughs> what? <laughs> we, uh, we have failed out Wall Street. Oh, Should well, we have bailed out Wall Street? Why can't yeah, you be, Phil, 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 why, Phil, Phil, yeah. why can't you be as funny as Kevin? Because uh, I don't have the beard. I mean, he just said something very yeah. funny, but you didn't hear it because you were too busy talking. Uh, I'm going to breathe. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yes. I'm back. Yes. I don't know that Bernie's exactly a socialist, to be honest with you. I mean, I, you know. Huh? He's no, a communist. He, he doesn't say he's, that he is. He's not he a communist, a Phil. I don't. Jeez <laughs> almighty. He's not yeah, he a communist. Castro. He likes Remember reading on Which on lines is good, he said. You know? You know what he is? On tape. What, what? Remember in the Mel Brooks movie when the guy is out of work and he goes and she says, what do you do for a living? He goes, oh, I, I'm a philosopher on this. She goes, oh, he's a bullshitter. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> you should check. Careful, you won't get monetized. Mm-hmm. Well, right. I don't know what to make of Bernie Sanders. He seems like he, like you said, he keeps talking, but there's nothing else there. I, I, he's, uh, he's also, what? he's too, he's too angry. I don't know why young people like him. You know, I'm, I can't, this one, maybe it reminds they, him of their uncle or something, you know. They, they want free stuff. He's I promising them. Oh, gee, oh, Phil, don't, you don't have to pipe in on everything happened, we say. I, I, it happened back with um, Rand Paul's, is it Rand Paul? Or yeah. uh, I get them mixed up. Yeah, uh, they, they, uh, they think, you know, it's Ron, to be Oh, no, you're, you're thinking you're thinking of RuPaul is who you're thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> Senator, can't be funny. Party came out in a dress. <laughs> That's it. He's got my vote. One man, Paul. One vote. You're thinking one of man. Paul Lynn. Yeah, uh, and he was probably gay. But uh, it, Bernie only has one jacket, one tie, and one shirt. Well, no, he he's he they've been dressing he's, him up lately. They've been dressing him up lately. Oh, I was good. Yeah. I was looking at him tonight, and I said, "That's a pretty snappy uh, suit he's got." Either that or I'm getting so old that kind of suit looks snappy to me. Yeah. You know. My mother likes she wants him to win. Bernie win had another because he likes the uh, medic. Very popular. She's hoping he wins. What 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 say what, a, what, what did you what did you say, Ray? Bernie uh, or Ray. Bree? Was it Ray? Ray, were you talking? No, I said oh. Ru I said RuPaul. Yes, oh, RuPaul. Okay. Yeah. Bernie used to do this segment called Brunch with Bernie. No, on it's a, a uh, progressive talk show host, radio show, for many years. So people got to know him over the years. I mean, they used to do that. He used to do that. He used to do it with Tom Hartman. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he treats. That's right. Brunch with Bernie. And I mean, so you had a full hour just to talk to him for years. I mean, it was kind of like Jim Hightower, you know? Well, it's not that you got to talk to him, but that he was a guest on this show every week, you know? Um, Tom Hartman, another guy That's I can't right. stand. Yeah. You know, so. so I think he he really honed his skills. Bernie, you know, honed what Bernie. skills? I didn't see them in play tonight. All I saw was, God, the uncle you have at a party who just starts ranting, kind of like Phil. You know, <laughs> he's, 
Bernie must be supporting Sears. You know how much you're starting to. You, you, you know how you're how much you're starting to sound like Bernie Sanders, uh, Phil, with all your ranting. That's true. Maybe you got a little Bernie. Put a little hair around there. <laughs> you might hair. look like him too. <laughs> I'll tell you, we we after we turned off the debate, and I turned on uh, an opening to Saturday Night Live so we could watch all those people play those people instead. And I can't look at Elizabeth Warren without seeing uh, what's her name, McKinney. Uh, oh, yeah, and and I great. can't, I can't look at Bernie without seeing Larry Sand, Larry oh. David. Uh, I mean, Larry David's take on Bernie Sanders is so perfect; it's just so spot he does on. Bernie better than Bernie? Huh? He yeah. does Bernie better than Bernie? Yeah. What? Are they from Brooklyn? Yeah, they're from Brooklyn. Yeah. Trump comes right. from Queens. So yeah, I guess you know the Brooklyn thing. Brooklyn's is, better. That, yeah. That's the way they maybe that has something to do with why people Trump. like. Trump. Was from Brooklyn. Yeah. Nah, Brooklyn. Nothing what about it says Brooklyn, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Gee, now that these days when you're talking, Phil, you actually do get muted by other people. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's keep talking. The mixed minus yet. Uh, as soon as I uh, uh, put that other thing into. What did you say, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> Can't we can't hear you, Phil. We can't hear you. Just went you, you just put on your mix minus. We can't hear you anymore. Phil. I, you heard that. It's the old mix minus. Cover up. That's okay. Hello, mix minus. Hey, yo, Phil. Coming around the band. Okay, I have a piece of advice for everyone. Come in, Phil. Wait a minute. Come I mean, Bri, 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 has, you, Bri has a piece of advice. Yes, Bri. Keep <laughs> uh, only buy Chawarma when you're in the Middle East. Only buy what? Shawarma? Shawarma. Uh, is that Indian? Uh, shawarma? No, it's Arab. It's Arab? Yeah. yeah. And I've just learned that like, when you go to Dubai, it's so awesome. Same with the hummus. When you go outside, it's just not the same. So really? That's my lesson today. Oh, just one quick thing. Jeff, are you still down in Miami? Yes, I am. Wow. How long are you going to be down there? Or did they permanently ban you as a Jew to Miami? Until the snow melts in Connecticut. It's wonderful huh? down here. Yeah. I got to go out tonight for Argentinian steak. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Having a good time. Yeah. So, What's that? Uh, steak? We decided to take socialist a steak. A month. A month. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's uh, good. Communist steak. Co communist steak. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Everybody had the same one, right? Well, there's our theme song. Uh, 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 can't hear it. Yeah, we can't hear it because uh, everybody's got their noise, got so much noise going on in the background. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for tonight, folks. Uh, yeah, it's been good having you all here. I, I didn't expect to be here tonight, but here I am, like a bad penny. Um, oh, oh, wait a minute, I can't even hear you, Phil. What? I get this hooked up, nobody will talk over me. Oh, I see. Okay. Anyway, uh, thank you, uh, Kevin. Appreciate it. Uh, 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 Tony, thank you. Thank you, Bree, for being here from the very beginning. Thank you uh, to Jeff for being here. We love having him here. Phil, and of course, Ray, who is out in the gym getting good and healthy. Um, keep it up, uh, because after this operation, I won't be able to. Anyway, listen, uh, why don't you uh, all give a, a big wave goodbye and I'll wave back at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for being here tonight. As I say, I wasn't expecting to be here tonight, but here I am. Like a bad penny. Anyway, uh, Jack Bishop is next over most of this same gab net. Uh, he'll be here with the uh, uh, intersection. You can call him, and he will have citizens' panels going like crazy. Uh, so give him a call and make him feel like you love him, okay? Uh, I'll be back again probably tomorrow night, I imagine. Uh, you know, this is on a day-to-day -day basis because I don't know when they're going to get me back in the operating room. But I just want to be have my radioactive seeds and water them and give them lots of sunlight. Anyway. Uh, we'll be back again, hopefully, tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. Oh, well, 
Uh, that doesn't work. Okay, will that work? No, that won't work. None of these things will work. Okay, there we go. Aha. Well, that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted something else. But that, well, anyway. Good night, everybody.